Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to find out my love language. Why? Um, I don't know. I've been reminded that this quiz exists and now I'm curious. Because I don't fall in love that easy, so... Let's find out. 3, 2, 1, go. Also. <laughs> Did I just say a German word? <laughs> Second try. Eins, zwei, drei. So, let's go. So you can see we have this, we have lost love language. Chris, yeah, apology. I don't. Anger assessment. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that reminds me of a different video I made. <laughs> We're going to test that too. How about that? Okay. Love language quiz. Start now. What's your love language? TM. For couples, singles, teens and children. Take this quiz to discover your primary love language, what it means and how you can use it to better connect with your loved ones. When you're finished, you may print, share, or save your results for future reference. They will not be saved automatically. Well, no, I'm I'm recording this. Um, I'm an adult. I am single. <laughs> someone I love sends me a love. Oh no, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love sends me a loving note, text, email, or for no special reason, I hug someone I love. <sighs> Is there a third option? I don't know, both? Um, well, I get really happy when people text me, like for no reason. But I think, I think it's the hugging that when I, uh, when I haven't seen my best friend in a long time and then we finally get together again and then I can hug her, I get so, so happy in that moment. It's like really, like this really sparkly feeling. <laughs> <laughs> in me that I'm like, oh, it's so great that you're alive. <laughs> I guess this one. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time with someone I love, just as someone I love does something practical to help me. No, 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 no. I help. I, I hate when people need to help me out. I hate that. I don't want that. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love gives me a little gift as a token of uh, or a love of concern for each other. Um, I get to spend in uninterrupted leisure time with those I love. Now I also don't like gifts because I react kind of, kind of numb to gifts. Gifts, like someone gifts me something and I just sit there like, oh that's really nice of you. Thank you. Because I'm really happy in that moment, but I can't really express it. So yeah. Um, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something unexpected f for me to help me with a project. I can share an innocent touch with someone I love. Definitely the touch one. As I said, I don't like help. Really, don't help me. I, I don't want you to do things for me. I do things for you. Okay. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when someone I love puts their arm puts their arm around me in public. <sighs> someone I love surprised me with a gift. Arm around me. I think I can already tell which, <laughs> which one is my love language. It's so meaningful to me when I am around someone I love, even if they are not really doing anything. I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, or putting... Oh, definitely the holding hands and stuff, because I'm really bad at, like, physical touch, actually. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Um, it's more meaningful to me when I receive a gift from someone I love, I hear from someone I love that they love me. Definitely that they love me. Like, I'm so, I get so insecure. I'm so insecure, like, uh, uh, I need, I, I have the feeling that sometimes I just need constant affirmation that people don't hate me, and I think that's so annoying, but at the same time, that's just me, I guess. Uh, it's more meaningful to me when I sit close to someone I love, I am complimented by someone, no, please don't compliment me, <laughs> please don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when I get the chance to just hang out with someone I love. I unexpectedly get small gifts. No, hang out. 
Um, it's more meaningful to me when I hear someone I love tell me I'm proud of you. Someone I love helps me with the task. No, I'm proud of you. That would I, that would be very meaningful, but also very uncomfortable for me. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when I get to do things with someone I love. I hear supportive words from someone I love. Um... I think I get to do with, because I think it's the quality time more than the support in words, because, I don't know, I trust the one thing more than the other, and also I can't, yeah, I, I don't react normal to supportive words, I guess, so fuck them. No. Supportive words are always appreciated, but I, I know I react weird. <laughs> so meaningful to me when someone I love does things for me instead of just talking about nice things. I feel connected to someone I love through a hug. Um, no, I don't want people. No, it's okay. They don't have to do things for me. It's more meaningful to me when I hear praise from someone I love. Someone I love gives me something that shows that they're really thinking about me. Oh, this one is hard. No, I think it's the praise. I know I said I don't like it, but I think it's more meaningful to me, actually. Because the other thing is like, yeah, it's really cute. They're like a souvenir from a holiday or vacation, but it's it's not something I really like. Not something I, I put um, as much meaning to as much emotional worth if that's the correct word to as the praise it's more meaningful to me when I'm just able to be around someone I love I get a back rub from so listen back rubs are something different okay <laughs> it, they are so nice it just shows that the person also wants to do stuff for me I think and that I'm not a burden that they like to do that stuff. If they do it because I told them to, it's not. It's worth nothing. Okay, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love reacts positively to something I've accomplished. Someone I love does something for me that I know they don't particularly. No, I don't want them to do something that they don't enjoy. I always try to like, um, how do you say that? To uh, shelter people I love from doing. Uh, hard tasks, tasks, or uncomfortable tasks, or something. Um, so definitely the one someone I love reacts positively to something I've accomplished, even though I am a person who always says no, no, it's okay. Um, I don't like praise and stuff. I don't, but it's not that I don't really like it. I just don't like my reaction to it, <laughs> and the um, yeah. The, 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 the situation that will uh, come out of it. <laughs> um, so meaningful to me when I'm able to be cl in close physical proximity to someone I love. I sense someone I love showing interest in the things I care about. I think the interest one. <laughs> I mean, yes, physical proximity is cool, but um, showing interest is even cooler because... I am scared that I am annoying them with everything I say, so please. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when someone I love works on special project with me that I have to complete. Someone I love gives me an exciting gift. Now this one is, is hard to decide because I don't particularly like both of these options. <laughs> um, I think... It's the gift because I don't like to. Oh, uh, I, I mean, I mean, I can do group exercises and stuff and group work, but you know, if I have the choice, I like to work alone because then I can only blame myself, and I don't have to be in this weird cycle of, um, yeah, do I, uh, do I blame the other person or is it just me, and uh, yeah, so. Exciting gift. It's more meaningful to me when uh, I'm complimented by someone I love on my appearance. Oh, <laughs> someone I love takes the time to listen to me and really understands my feelings. 
I think it's the Phoenix one, even though I don't like to talk about them. But it, it means a lot to me if someone is willing to listen to me and my under tries to understand my feelings and shit. I like that. It's more meaningful to me when I can share a meaningful touch in public with someone I love. Someone I love offers to run errands for me. Meaningful touch, uh, even though it's uh, also I get some I get pretty embarrassed by that, but also I I just really like it. I get excited and embarrassed. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something special for me to help me out. Uh, I get a gift that someone I love put uh, thought into choosing. Yeah, it's always the help me out things that I don't really like. So, gift. <laughs> Gift, please. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're talking to each other. Uh, someone I love goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. Definitely, th definitely the relief pressure because I always like to put on very much pressure on myself. I, I pressure myself to very high levels. I, I, I hold myself to very high standards. So if someone um kind of like gives me the option and also like pushes me into the direction of don't stop please be nice to yourself uh that actually that actually kind of helps me out and it's also it also makes me kind of happy um so the, the doesn't check their phone no you can totally check your phone anytime i don't care as long as i have the 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 um, as long as as it seems like you're listening to me and something like that I, it's totally fine, I don't care check your phone especially if you're like waiting for an answer or something <laughs> do check your phone, I don't care it's more meaningful to me when I can look forward to a holiday because I'll probably get a gift from someone I <laughs> what? I hear the words I appreciate you definitely they appreciate you who would pick the fucking gift? <laughs> <laughs> kind of material materialistic, don't you think? No, I won't judge anyone if if, if someone picks that. I, I guess you could look forward to a holiday. Like, I mean, Christmas and maybe you know, or your, your, your birthday. And someone promised you something. Maybe something like that. I don't know. I, I don't get that feeling. But um, I get it. I just don't. I might say, me, my, my, me. Me don't get that feeling. You get that feeling? Cool. Me don't. Also cool. <laughs> I appreciate you. It's, it's nice. It's a moving feel for me when someone I love and haven't seen in a while thinks enough of me to give me a little gift. Someone I love takes care of something I'm responsible to do, but I feel too stressed to do it at the time. <laughs> Definitely that one. As I said, me much stress. If someone helps me with my stress and helps me cope with certain feelings because of the high stress level, that's super nice of them and, and it's just so cool. It's so meaningful to me when someone I love doesn't interrupt me while I'm talking. Gift giving is an important part of the relationship with someone I love. Wait, that's not a sentence. It's more important. It's more meaningful to me when gift giving is an important part. Okay, grammar first and second. <laughs> definitely doesn't interrupt me while I'm talking because in these YouTube videos I know I seem like I can be talking a lot and that could also happen when I'm in person with someone um, but if I get the feeling that they don't even really want to hear me and something and if they interrupt me I just feel like I'm not th as meaningful to them and also not as like as if Everything I'm saying is just really boring and they don't really want to listen to me. So I'm just like... <sighs> <laughs> that would that, that hurts me if someone interrupts me a lot. Like, I, I totally get that. Sometimes you're like so excited about something the other person's talking about or like really passionate or something or really angry. There are strong emotions and you interrupt them. Totally fine. That can happen. But don't be a dick. Just interrupt a person while they're talking about I don't know, feelings and shit. It's more meaningful to me when someone I I love helps me out when they know I'm already tired. 
it's more meaningful to me when I get to go somewhere while spending time with someone I love. Oh, that's hard. Because I like the go somewhere and spending time there, um, but also the helps me out um, when I'm already tired. But I also, f I, I think I would feel even worse when I failed myself already because I'm too tired to do something or like already pretty tired and I still have to do something and then someone takes that responsibility away from me it's really hard for me to not blame myself and be hard on myself after that so I wouldn't like that too much I think um, I know it's that's a me problem and not a them problem but maybe you know like it's more meaningful to me to like go somewhere spending time I always think like oh well, I I would love to go with that person like go to um, like an amusement park or something right now that would be so cool I, I just oh, yeah so meaningful to me when someone I love touches my arm or shoulder to show their care or concern someone I love gives me a little gift that they picked up in the course of their normal day oh that's also really cute oh mm. well if it's care with the touch of my arm, it's totally okay. But like concern, I'd probably pull away my arm because I am, I don't know, I don't like that touch. <laughs> because I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not weak. Don't touch me right now. <laughs> so I think like the, the other thing, like gifts me a gift, um, it just, just, that that just shows like in the normal day they they thought of me that just shows that I'm I am part of their daily life I'm not just a one-time thing or like a special event kind of thing I am there and I am in their mind it's just like they th see something they see a color or something and they're like oh yeah I think of him right now that that's just so cute <laughs> um it's more meaningful to me when someone I love says something encouraging to me. I get to spend time in a shared activity or hobby with, with someone I love. Um, I think... Um, encouraging is really, really cute. But I think shared activity is, is, is more my thing. I hope you don't hear my parents downstairs. Oh, they stopped talking. Perfect. <laughs> so many feel to me when someone I love surprises me with a small token of their appreciation. I'm touching someone I love frequently to express uh, our friendship. Mm, like frequently, as I said, I'm not really good with physical touch, but... I mean, I like it, but... At the same time, I'm so insecure about it, so I'm not really the one touching the other one, but I am very happy when that happens, you know? <laughs> this sounds so stupid, but like if it if it's about emotions, I can't really do the touchy thing. Yeah. Um... small token of that I mean if if the small token is something like they baked they baked brownies and they thought of me so they bring me brownies totally that yes <laughs> so meaningful to me when someone I love helps me out especially if I know they're already busy no never never I think it doesn't even really matter uh, what the other option is but no no they are busy I don't want to stress them out even more no, they they shouldn't help me right now. I should help them. Um, are you someone I love? Tell me that they appreciate me. That's really cute, yes. Yes, I like that one. <laughs> so many feels for me when I get a hug from someone whom I haven't seen in a while. I hear someone I, lo I love tell me how much I mean to him, her, or them. Quiz. Non-binary pe people exist. Um, uh, well, it really depends. Like, the someone I, whom I haven't seen in a while, is, is that someone who's really close to me? Because I, I actually don't like hugging if, um, I don't really, 
like I hug so few people in my life because all the others they're not in the hug zone nah -uh. <laughs> so if it's my best friend or someone like that I get really excited and I'm like oh yes we are hugging right now but if it's someone who's like I mean all these answers were with someone I love till now this one isn't so I'm a bit uh, yeah you know um I think it's still the how much I mean to him her them okay oh it's it's not that clear I guess quality time and physical touch but also words of affirmation <laughs> acts of service no fuck that <laughs> okay quality time nothing says I love you like full undivided attention being there for this type of type of person is critical but really being there with the TV or fork and knife down all chores and tasks on standby makes you tr feel truly special and love distractions postponed activities or the failure to listen can be especially hurtful <laughs> whether it's spending uninterrupted time talking with someone else or doing activities together you deepen your connection with others through sharing time. Yeah, I think so. I, our, as I said I, while taking the quiz, I think I already know which one it will be. <laughs> physical touch. A person whose primary language is physical touch is not surprisingly very touchy. I'm not. I would like to be. I'm not. <laughs> because I'm always like, I'm, I sit, I'm sitting there thinking like, oh, would it be okay if I, if I like... If I like hug them right now, because I really want to hug them right now, but I, 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 there's no reason to hug, so maybe it's weird. C can I hug them? Is that okay? Could we maybe like, I don't know, give each other's back like a little cute rub or something? Could we do that, or is that weird? <laughs> is that okay? I, I want to cuddle right now, but I don't want to ask you. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah, quality time, that was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool, I think this is it for the video. I don't want to talk about this anymore. It gets kind of, I, I'm getting uncomfortable. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you like this video. My hair is getting really weird right now. And, yeah. Stay tuned for more quizzes and vlogs and everything. Bye.